Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back, Supernatural fans, uh, Jensen Eccles fans, um, the other guy, <laughs> just kidding. Jared Padalecki. Sorry, my apologies, Supernatural fans. Ryan's shaking his head, as are all of the Supernatural fans right now. Oh, no. They're very nice people. They're very nice That's people. That's true. That's true. This is from Melissa. Melissa is right here in our Patreon right now, reacting with us as we watch this video no, she's not reacting she's asked us to react to this she's joining us she's joining us yes she says i couldn't wait to request this you both got me excited for the supernatural journey oh my next request for you guys is a j2 jared and jensen clip from supernatural convention it's from a vegas con in 2015 hope you enjoy it if you love more of these i'll send more in well I'm we, sure we'll enjoy it. We we'll shall see, Melissa. We and shall see. I know people will never send us anything that is a spoiler. So I know they're at these conventions, and uh, I know nobody would ever send us something that would watch. Hey, Jared, remember when you died in episode? Okay. So, <laughs> but that being said, uh, so we're, we'll watch this. But speaking of Supernatural, again, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel right now with us, this video that we're about to watch along with, we are doing Supernatural. We're nearing the end of Season 1 by the time this gets out on YouTube. We are nearing the end of Season 1 of Supernatural. It is our goal and our journey to get through all those seasons. They will not be on YouTube. We, we cannot afford an editor. We don't get enough views to warrant that. So come join our Patreon to watch the full, unedited, ad-free reactions to Supernatural. It actually is a great uh, community there, su Supernatural fans already. So come join us. Yeah, it really is. We have a fantastic little community uh, on our Patreon. So, ready? Ready. Let's do it. Hi. Um, so I love hearing Mine would be a love seat. <laughs> so what was he responding to there with that? Mine would know. be a love seat. Mine a love seat. Mine would be a love seat. Okay. Uh what kind of chair do you make? What would you of? what would you call your bum? Oh, that's good. That's good. How about you? So, so I love hearing about Onstead. Mine would be extra long because I'm tall. Because I'm tall. <laughs> what would he call his? He said mine would be extra long because I'm tall. What? What are they? Okay, I wish the clip showed the uh, context for the, the context for those jokes. I know that's not what this clip is about, but they're showing us the <clears> previous <throat> conversation. I'm tall. I can't sleep on a normal couch. The knees and the fetal position and the stuff talking. Stuff. Throat a throat blanket? What's that for? It covers my leg. Throw? Here's a throw for you. Where did that come from? What am I talking about? Just stop talking. <laughs> on set stuff and I was curious can you tell us any about any shenanigans on set from this season essentially set is basically what you're witnessing happen right here <laughs> this, is, say. this is pretty so, much so what season are they on right now so they said the season that you're on right now I'm just kind of curious that's not really a spoiler I'm just well, the Jared, timeline Jared of the show. has a lot longer hair so I'm gonna guess it's not season one no I would say this is 2015 so this is probably season 10 ish 9 10 11 mm. yeah, yeah. They still had like five seasons to go. Boy, we got a long journey ahead of us, Nathan. <laughs> we just yeah, start. I know. <laughs> We're like doing the episodes. Like, look, it's the nightmare episode. Oh, I've got dreams. I mean, there's, there's so much more stuff to do. I think the lore <laughs> just really gets thicker as time goes on. I think is what mm -hmm. happens. Mm -hmm. so that's not a typical day on set. It was just, what? Something did just happen. I don't know. It occurred to me, like, in your head? Is that just like, wait, I think I just... Yeah, I just had an idea. I just... <laughs> what just happened? Seabass and the guys, they would pick up our time. Sorry. Um, I'll think of it. I think something did just happen. I did just remember a funny story. There's a there's a Fairmont in the uh, in the Vancouver airport, and I was just walking through the airport the other day, and I remember this story. 
And there was a day, speaking of wearing makeup, um, there was a day where the, <laughs> on set, but we, it was season one, and when you're filming film, which we were, seasons one and two, you have to wear a lot more makeup than when you're filming digital. When you're wearing digital, they don't have to really do anything, they just kind of make sure you don't have bags under your eyes. But with film, it's kind of like being on, on stage, like in a theater play, you wear a lot of makeup, so it's pretty obvious in person. Um, and Jensen and I have been filming until like three or four in the morning. We had an early, early flight to go to Los Angeles to do some press. And we were like, we were both thinking, if we go home and set our alarms and try to wake up, there's no way we're gonna wake up, get to the airport time. Let's just go crash at the Fairmont for, get a couple hours, you know, just get whatever kind of shutout we can. We were still in our early 20s, and so we could do that. Uh, Would have saved us probably an hour and a half or so. Yeah, instead of going from wherever we were to downtown, because you were at the Wall Center, I was at some, um, and then back. So we just headed to the airport. We we're like, let's crash on the, the, the couches through security, but that wasn't open yet. And so we go up to the, um, to the desk, and we're like, hey, we just need a room for like two hours. Hey, you can get a lot done in two hours. That's a lot of, boy. <laughs> two hours? Wow. That's more than enough time. And Vancouver's a very, Vancouver's a very, a very progressive city. It's and an airport hotel. Right? Airport hotel. Yeah. We're caked in makeup. Like, bang, 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 just rid us a hotel for a couple hours. That's all we need. Um, and the person is pretty un unfazed. They're like, oh, yeah, it's you know, it's a progressive city. Like, okay, you're in 201, our king suite. Like, what? Wait, 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 what? Yeah, we're in, we're in our deluxe king suite. It's going to be, well, like, two kings, right? Like, what? Well, oh, do you want two beds? I know the makeup and the buy the hour thing, but yes. Well, don't let the hair fool you, okay? We just need to crash out for a couple of hours. I was walking through the airport laughing, thinking of that story. And it was expensive. They, they wouldn't give us a... We, essentially, we wanted a discount. Well, it was the first and last time that ever happened. <laughs> yeah. We walked by the Fairmont like this. We wanted a discount because it was like 200 bucks. We're like, 200 bucks for an hour and a half of sleep is ridiculous. Can you give it to us for like 50 or something, just a couple hours? Like, no, no. Like, no, we're going to have to clean the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, you know, I mean, he'll, he sweats. I'll, I'll stop talking. <laughs> the makeup rubs off on the pillow. Because <laughs> you sleep on your stomach, right? <laughs> That's why the. This is. <laughs> Can we control all, delete everything that's just happened? Can we bring Jeffrey D. Morgan back up here? Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Were you hanging from the rafters? <laughs> I forgot my coffee. <laughs> I thought he was going to come out and give us some like pearl of wisdom. He's like, listen guys, when you start heading down that road in a story and it no, just starts I'm going not. south. But no, I just forgot my coffee. Are you guys talking about me? What? <laughs> no. What, what did he say? No, we were about the part where we were talking about the makeup on the pillow. So I'm fairly certain you don't want to stick around much longer. Awkward. <laughs> no, I really didn't just come to get my dog. <laughs> nice. Hey, you guys. Jerry and Jens. I'm coming in. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> See you at the photo hop. Uh, what a great community. You know, man, like, <sighs> some people get to wake up and go to work, and that's their job. I know. I know. <sighs> that's what like, they do, and they make lots of money at it. It's not even about the money or the fame, but just the, like, I love seeing, uh, yeah, that helps. But honestly, the, like, that companionship, and how do you see the word com com camaraderie? Camaraderie. Camaraderie, thank you. Camaraderie. Camaraderie. I love seeing that. 
And this thing, mm-hmm. like, he kissed him on the head. Even I love that closeness, that brotherhood, mm-hmm. and they're just so, they're lucky for that reason that they get to entertain, and go to work, and all that good stuff. But they're actually, you know, you can tell it's not a toxic work set. It, to work on Supernatural, you better be easygoing, have fun, and not be a dick. Because I don't think they probably tolerate that there. I think good mm-hmm. people probably work there. I could be wrong, but I got a feeling the way they are. The way the crowd is with them, that everyone that works on the show seems to have it's probably a good environment to work in. Mm. You probably can't do 15 seasons of television if it wasn't a good place to go to work in. Like they probably just kept going, Yeah, we'll do another season. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. 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 They they never they never like take over somebody else's turn when it's their turn to speak, even when it's they're supposed to go first. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> We only have that rule in place to keep things moving and not to be I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I know. Um, I agree. That, that was something I was watching. I'm always like impressed with how um, their dynamics off. Well, I shouldn't say always. I think this is maybe once or the or twice where we've actually watched the two of them off uh, camera interacting i don't know if we've seen very much of the two of them interacting we've heard a lot of stuff about them interacting off camera and how they their their like friendship is off camera um that it's you know it's still very strong it's 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 almost to me i know we've said a thousand times but it's very strange how similar there are we have you and i have our dynamics between each other like uh Jared kind of like, oh, here goes Jensen with another uncomfortable wisecrack, you know, <laughs> and him like almost apologizing for it. Like that's that's you and I a lot. Um, uh, Jared's taller than Jensen. Um, he's got the, I'm not I'm just pointing it out. I'm not trying to like make, like he wears the toque and, you know, longer hair. You do stuff. wear the toque and longer hair. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's just kind of funny how there's like a lot Had of the shorter hair and yeah. similarities and, yeah, I mean we're we're not the same obviously, no. but there's just it's just fun to see that connection. I think that's why we connect so strongly with the show. Um Yeah, in, we love the, the end, show. Uh, we love the show and we love these guys. I think they're they're great guys. I love Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Yeah, he's great. I, I I want to say too, I yeah, I'm a huge fan of uh, Walking Dead. I've seen every episode of every season. I still have yet to watch the new season with him and um called dead city it's on our to-do list we're now going to get the amc plus so we can watch the three spin-offs dead city daryl and the new michelle and uh oh is that you and your wife gonna do that you're not yeah, yeah, yeah yeah no 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 that's my that's our show that's our show we love walking okay. anyway so but i was watching negan it's negan sort of played by but the negro knee 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 what do you i try to I, the, I, another word almost slipped out i'm just saying Negan and his mannerisms. I was combining the two by saying, <laughs> <laughs> "Sorry, oh my gosh, the Neganisms." Yes, <laughs> don't put an R on that one. <laughs> oh, I wasn't trying. I was mixing manner, and the R came. Up. Anyways, the point is, <laughs> Negan, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. When he was with the boys up there, and he did this backwards, he kind of went like this, he went like he went like that. He did like mm-hmm. a, Negan does that all the time, so it's yeah. obviously a Jeffrey Dean thing that yeah. he adds to the character because he naturally did that on stage there, where he kind of went like it just looked like Negan anyway. So it was kind of mm-hmm. cool. I nerded out myself a little bit just watching the actor playing who plays Negan, who I'm a fan of being Negan like on stage. Anyways, all right, good stuff. Thanks, Melissa. Wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking forward to uh, as much. I, I wish we could just do sure supernatural all the time. To be honest, I wish we could just keep going, yeah. um, but we have lots of commitments. But uh, stick around for more uh, supernatural coming soon. Uh, we are almost at least once a week doing supernatural. At least it's at least once a week. week. Come on um, our Patreon, though. Yeah, yeah, sometimes twice. So see you there. Thanks. Bye. 